Hello everyone, uh, Philip Wigginton here. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Uh, I would love it if you would uh, become a subscriber and if you like uh, this video, uh, I hope that you would uh, click the little thumbs up down there and indicate that to me, as well as leave me a comment. I've had some, I love reading the comments. I've had some very good constructive comments that have helped me uh, improve uh, the videos that I put out. Today is not going to be a music video as I normally uh, produce, uh, and I'll tell you why. You see the brace on this left hand. A few years ago, I began to have a condition that I cannot pronounce. So the second word is called contracture, but it started out as these little hard places in my uh, palm. Uh, but over time, the one that was associated with my pinky finger began to grow and expand and actually uh, went up uh, the little finger and began to contract it in toward the palm. Uh, and it got worse and worse. Uh, this past Super Bowl, John Elway did a commercial uh, where he said that he had the same condition and that there was now a treatment uh, so I pursued that uh, after the Super Bowl, and it involved uh, getting a prescription for a certain solution that had to be ordered from a particular place, uh, approved by insurance, all those kind of things. But that resulted in this past Monday, uh, I went into a sports medicine clinic that we have uh, here in Birmingham, and the doctor injected that solution into those uh, little hard nodules uh, in my hand, very painful. Um, and then uh, Wednesday, after three days of that solution doing its thing in my hand, I went back into the clinic and the doctor actually broke loose uh, those little hard areas that was causing my finger to contract. Uh, and now the finger can fully extend. I have full range of motion uh, in that little finger. Uh, but it's very, very sore, all the palm of my hand, and it actually extends all the way up my arm to the lymph nodes. Somehow there's a connection there uh, to the lymph nodes. And I have to wear this brace uh, for the next six months, they recommend it. Now, uh, Full disclosure, I only have to wear it uh, at night when I'm asleep, uh, but I wore it for the video just for effect. Uh, but anyway, uh, it appears that uh, this procedure uh, will address that condition, so I'm very grateful for that. So I can't do a music video this week, but I wanted to take this opportunity to put out another episode in a guitar story. Uh, the last uh, episode, I indicated that I had no intention of buying any other guitars, uh, but as guitar enthusiasts will understand, uh, ultimately I did buy another guitar. Uh, I began to want a double O uh, body style guitar, and this is a smaller body, uh, some, some call them parlor style guitars. And I began to look at a uh, Czechoslovakian made guitar called FURCH, or FURCH, F-U-R-C-H. Uh, read some reviews, listened to some uh, reviews of those guitars, and they were very uh, highly recommended. And so my intention was, was to buy one of those uh, FURCH guitars, I'll call them, in the double O body style. But being uh, partial to the Martin uh, guitars, along came a, uh, a used double O uh, size guitar for sale on Reverb. Uh, this was a 2010 double O 28 vintage style guitar. The vintage style comes from the fact that originally these guitars began to be made in 1898 by Martin and at the time they were actually the largest body style guitar that Martin made. This was pre-dreadnought and all of that. But in uh, more recent years uh, 
Martin put out for a few years uh, what they called a vintage series uh, of guitars and this 0028 VS was one of the guitars that they built during that time. They've since uh, stopped making them. So I want to show you uh, my latest guitar which is the Martin uh, 0028 vintage style guitar and as you can see it's a small body guitar. It is a slot head guitar uh, which is the first that I have owned. So the first time that I changed strings uh, on it was quite an adventure and I won't do a close-up so you don't see uh, the results of uh, what I did, but the sound is good. Uh, this guitar, uh, to start with, has uh, the, the nut is actually one and three quarters inches in width. Uh, so it's a wide neck and uh, it has ebony uh, fingerboard has an ebony uh, saddle, uh, spruce top, has premium rosewood uh, back and sides, has uh, you know a beautiful color to it. Hope you can see uh, the beauty of the guitar. Uh, beautiful decoration down the center. On the front it has like a herringbone uh, design around the guitar has uh, some beautiful inlays in the keyboard. And uh, despite its size, which it's a 12 fret guitar, it's 24.9 uh, 24 inches long, uh, but it has a beautiful, a beautiful uh, ringing sound to it. It has really, really loud uh, for such a body style, very easy to play. I've actually recorded a video using this guitar call, uh, in a rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow uh, that I'll put a link to uh, in this video. So wonderful, uh, wonderful sounding guitar and as on every guitar that I have uh, ever purchased this is my favorite. Uh, so I really uh, enjoy playing this guitar. It's so easy to play. It has such a warm, uh, warm bowl sound to it. So anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. Thank you for uh, tuning in. And uh, this is the next chapter in a guitar story.